I expect a lot from my artwork, an awful lot from it. And I expect uh, very little from it at the same time. I look for each piece of artwork to soothe me, to heal me. I look for each piece of artwork to inspire me to continue it. I look for each piece of artwork to remind me of where I come from. And I look for each piece of artwork to let me know and guide me where I need to go to take me further. I always start from where I come from. The people you see in the work are usually people who I know, people who I grew up with. I don't know if I could have a sense of myself without those people that I grew up with. I always knew that I, would be, I was an artist. I wanted to be an artist, even though I did not know what an artist was at the time, because we did not use such terms every day. It was not uh, something that we thought about. I mainly was interested in knowing the people around me and being able to tell their story through the things that I did, through the pictures that I did. A lot of people who never saw themselves in artwork, who didn't get to see paintings of themselves, who didn't get to see their essence reproduced in wood, in canvas, in ink. I get joy and affirmation when the people in the area where I grew up, when they can see the work and see the stories. And they are reminded of stories when they see the work. They're reminded of the stories. They're reminded of folklore. They're reminded of the tales. This picture. I call the, uh, he's a trickster. And, the, and you'll see a lot of the same emotional content of the characters that I do, that I create. You'll see them appear throughout the artwork. And uh, that's because they, they're my vocabulary. That's how I communicate my ideas, my world. And I use these symbols from my childhood. I try to connect them with symbols from other places. I find a connection where, where certain symbols meet, where certain uh, ideas meet, and then I bring, try to re explain them to myself and internalize them into that vocabulary that I have, that vocabulary of images. I also deal with a lot of the things in our community that we have difficulty with. A lot of the forces that are designed to destroy the community, that are designed to weave its way into communities and rip them apart, or to erase that self-knowledge, or to somehow define us and eradicate our own vision of who we are, and replace it with a vision that is not our own. Those types of things I find most detrimental to our culture, to our culture, to ourselves, to our personal selves. And no matter where a person comes from, if their identity is based on something that they find artificial, manufactured for them, then they will soon find that they are lost. I felt that those people uh, needed to be remembered. I felt like their story needed to be told. I wanted them to be centered. I wanted them to have the things that make them who they are. I wanted them to have the things that they use to make a home, that they use to make a community. Those are the things that, you, that cannot be taken from you. Those are the things that you can take anywhere. Those are the things that you can take from one part of the country to the other part, to another part of the country. You can keep those things inside you. If you protect those things, you will always be centered. You'll always have a home.